In this video, we're going to learn how to find the frequency of each digit in an integer number using C. So for example, if we have the integer number 415, we can count the frequency of each digit in this number if we go through the number one digit at a time. We'll use this algorithm to do that. If we take the number and divide it by 10, that will give us 41 remainder five. Then if we take the quotient 41 and divide it by 10, we'll get four remainder one. Then if we take the quotient four and divide it by 10, we'll get here zero remainder four. And if we stop this process, once the quotient reaches zero, we'll have gone through each digit in the number where the remainder of each division operation is going to be that digit. Now what we could do is have an array with 10 indexes from zero up until nine. And initially we'll set each element in the array to the value zero and the indexes from zero to nine in the array will be used to store the counts of each digit from zero to nine in the number. So for example, at the index four in the array, we'll store the count of the number of occurrences of the digit four in the number. And initially we'll set the count of all digits to zero. But then as we go through the number one digit at a time, we'll increment that count. So we'll increment five first, then one next, then we'll increment four and we're done. So let's implement this algorithm now. The first thing we'll do is create a variable to store the number. We'll have down here int number is equal to zero. Then we'll also declare a variable to store each digit. We'll have here int digit is equal to zero for that variable. Then we'll declare an array to store the counts, otherwise known as the frequency of each digit in the number. We'll call the array frequency. We'll give it a length of 10, one index for each digit, and we'll have type int so we can store our counts as integers. Then we'll initialize all the elements in this array to zero with is equal to inside curly braces zero. So this here will initialize all the elements in the array to the value zero. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the number. We'll have down here printf and we'll have the string enter number colon to prompt the user with the text enter number. Then we'll use scanf to store the number the user enters into the variable number. We'll have scanf with percent %d to accept an integer of input and we'll have and number to store the integer entered by the user into the variable number. Then we can implement our algorithm. We'll have down here do, and we'll have while, and we're going to continue this process until the number reaches zero. We'll have here while number does not equal zero. So, so long as the number has not yet reached zero, we'll continually divide the number by 10 with number divide equals 10. What this will do is divide this number by 10 and store the result back into number. So this will keep track of the quotient here in this algorithm. Now to extract the remainder, we have to use a different operator called modulus. So here, if we have digit is equal to number modulus 10, the modulus operator percent here is going to give us the remainder of dividing this number by 10. So this here will give us each digit in the number with each step of this process. And then we'll increment the value stored in the frequency array at the index digit to increase the count of that digit. Then down here, after this loop is done its process, what we'll do is output each count. We'll have here first output a new line with printf backslash n. Then we'll have a for loop to go through each index in that array with a counter variable i. We'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, and i plus plus. So with this loop, the counter variable i is going to go from zero up until, but not including 10, by one with each loop iteration. That will take the counter variable i through each index in that array. Then with each loop iteration in the loop body, we're going to output the value of i, which is the digit for which we're outputting the count, as well as the count itself stored at the index i in the array. So we'll have percent %d dash and then percent %d to output two int values separated by a dash, 
and we'll have backslash n for a new line, and we'll output i, and we'll output the frequency of the digit i. So now, if we save, compile, and run the program, we could enter in, let's say, 415 for our number. So we'll have here, 415, and we get here a count of one for one, one for four, and one for five. So our program appears to be working. Now there are some improvements we could make. Right now our program can't handle negative numbers. So for example, if number was negative, number modulus 10 would give us back a negative number. And if we had digit as a negative index here into the frequency array, that would not set the correct index of the frequency array to the incremented value. So what we could do is just take the number and multiply it by negative one and store the result back into number if the number is negative to make it a positive number. So here we could have if the number is less than zero, then take the number, multiply it by negative one and store the result back into number. So basically take the negative number and make it positive by multiplying it by negative one. We could have used the absolute value function here and that would also work. And keep in mind, all we care about is the frequency of each digit in the number. So whether it's positive or negative is not going to affect that. So now if we save compile and run the program, we could enter in, let's say negative 4155, and we'll get here that we have two five digits, one four digit, and one one digit, which is correct. Now, another improvement we could make is to output the results into a neatly formatted table. We could also include the percentage of each digit. We'll declare a variable called total to keep track of the total number of digits. We'll have here int total, and we'll initialize it to zero. Then, as we encounter each digit in the number, we'll increment total by one, so we have a count of the total number of digits in the number. So we'll have down here total plus plus to increment total by one each time we encounter a digit. Then down here, we'll make a neatly formatted table. We'll have the new line, but then we'll output a column heading row. So we'll have printf with the column heading digit, and then we'll have next up frequency, and then we'll have percentage followed by a new line here. Then we'll output a row of stars to separate our column headings from our rows of data. So we'll have here a bunch of stars followed by a new line. Then what we'll do is in the loop body, output the digit, frequency, and percentage. Now, as we output the digit and the frequency, we'll output those values into fields of appropriate widths. So here in between digit and frequency, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. And between frequency and percentage, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters. So we'll use those lengths for our field widths. Down here, we'll have printf, but this time we'll have percent and we'll have negative nine D. So this will output an int value into a field of width nine and the negative symbol is going to make it left aligned. Then we'll have percent with minus 13 D this time to output an int value into a field of width 13 that is also left aligned. Then we'll output the percentage as a floating point number. We'll have that number output with two decimal digits of precision. So we'll have percent dot two F where percent F outputs the floating point number and the dot two outputs the number with two decimal digits of precision. Then we'll have percent percent to output a percent symbol and we'll have backslash N to output a new line at the end of each line. Then we'll output the digit with I we'll output the frequency of that digit with frequency at the index I then to output the percentage, we'll do a calculation. So we'll have here that will convert the value in the frequency array at the index I to a double value. Then we'll divide that number by total. Then we'll multiply the result by 100. 
This will give us the percentage of that digit. And now if we save compile and run the program and enter in, let's say minus 4155, we'll get this neatly formatted table where we have two five digits, one four digit, one one digit, and we also have the correct percentages here as well. So this is how we can find the frequency of each digit in an integer number using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.